to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited to be back with you guys sharing a Dollar Tree haul. Um, if you haven't already, my last video was a really long one, but it is my question and answer where I answered the questions that you guys asked me and it was a lot of fun. Um, I talk a lot, so it made it a really long video, but Thank you guys so much for just being active and participating in that. I appreciate you guys so much. If you're new here, thank you for being here. I am so happy. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel as well as the bell button. And that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment because those things just help. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I'm super excited to share the things I found. Also, I know I've shown this bag already once, but how cute is this? I got it at Target in their um, dollar spot. It says, these are a few of my favorite things. So cute. Love it. It's very Christmassy. I still haven't decorated my Christmas tree. I am behind schedule. Uh, we did pull absolutely everything out of our crawl space. I'm busy sorting through it. Um, I want to get rid of the stuff that we just have no use for because I just buy too much holiday stuff. I love holiday stuff. So um, it's been a process. I really hope by the next time you see me, this is decorated. That is my big goal. Um, so now I just have a pretty lighted up tree. All right, let's get started. So I found more of the friends socks so there's these ones i haven't found all of them i know there are more out there i found one i think in my last dollar tree haul um and this one says central perk and then this side has the taxi cab and the umbrella and it says friends i assume you guys have probably seen all of them by now they're just making it into some of my stores and not all of them and like they're all just having like a single like set so um, I have a best friend who is absolutely a huge Friends fanatic. Um, I do have a friend who's supposed to be sending me some too. And if you don't want to, that's okay, Jen, because I have found some of them. Um, but I plan to use them for gifts uh, because, I mean, I like Friends. I don't dislike Friends, but I'm not like a Friends fanatic. I am also seeing, you know, the little Friends chapsticks. They came out a year, year and a half ago, usually around Christmas. I'm seeing those back in the Dollar Tree stores. I haven't picked any up because I've already gifted them to my best friend and I have a set because I think they're cute because they're like little coffee cups. But how cute would a sock and chapstick little gift be for somebody who really likes the show? And like the little deck of cards that is friends, um, like knowledge. Oh my gosh, I might just pick up the stuff to do like a gift. Um, so there's that. I also picked up these socks. I'm going to gift these to Braxton. Usually for Christmas, they all get like some socks and stuff. And he sometimes likes to wear the fun socks. So he thinks he's a gamer. So I think he'll like those. So those are going to be just part of one of his Christmas gifts. All the kids are going to get some sort of socks. Um, fun or not fun, they're going to get something. All right, I hit up the Hot Wheels because I always do. I'm looking for the Barbie car. Um, I have someone sent me an email. I need to reply back to you in my email. But um, and someone else said that they were going to look for it. But I I search the cars every time because I want to find the Barbie car. I found Ken twice, but I haven't found Barbie yet. But these I picked up because I think my husband's going to love them. I actually might save them and put them in his stocking for Christmas because, you know, him and I were the parents. We don't usually get things in our stockings. But this one is in 71 Plymouth GTX. And this is like kind of what he's like into or cars like this. I also say I always want a, con or a Corvette. And um, I've mentioned a Dodge Charter. I want a muscle car, like an old muscle car. We'll see if it ever happens or not. But this one is a Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. I don't know what year that means, but who wouldn't want a Corvette like that, right? And then this one, I, was, I told him that I would take a, jo a Dodge Charger for my muscle car. And he's like, yeah, you and everyone else. You know how expensive those things are? So I found myself a Hot Wheels instead. Um, it's a 69 Dodge Charger 500 and a pretty, pretty purple color. I mean, if that were a real car, I would drive that and I would be ecstatic that I'm driving it. Um, we have more, more cars in here. So I also picked up this Lamborghini Revenchon. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's a Lambo. And it's funny, so I was trying to find all these cars when I did Braxton's birthday party and I couldn't find any of them. And now I can. And here's a Dodge Viper, a 92. One of my dream cars is, I think it's a 96 Dodge Viper. Blue with the white stripes. Always, since 96, I have loved that car. Um, my husband and I go to car shows sometimes and I have seen them there and I'm like, oh, still love it, still love it. Wish I could have it, but I can't. Um, oh my gosh, there's still more Hot Wheels in here. This one is a 62 Corvette. I mean, how cool is that? So as you know, my husband has a Cornette. I forgot what year now, 50, 1950 Cornette. Um, he's also now entering into a rat rod um, contest. So he's going to be building a rat rod. He's getting a Ford. 
I'll have to come back to you. I'll keep you updated. I can't remember what it's called, but a rat rod is basically like a hot rod, but you put it together in bits and pieces and he's, it's a project and he's really excited about it. Um, I found one of these, literally just one. It is a Jurassic World Hot Wheel. This one is the Velociraptor Beta. Um, it's cool when you find these because like at other stores, these are like the three to like $6 hot wheels at any other store like the hot wheels hot wheels they're like a dollar to a dollar 25 everywhere you go but when you find those specialty ones they're so much more expensive at other stores so it is so neat to find them i think that's all the hot wheels but we'll see like as i get into the bag if there's more hiding in there i picked up some dog treats because i want to make the dogs a puppy advent calendar this year i've never done an advent calendar for them i do an advent calendar every year for the kids um, and I have them all coming like I had to buy specialty ones because I want to make sure that they're getting what they want with what they're into and I ordered them all online so they're all on their way here but um so these these ones are they're all the foppers brand those are the hearts that I usually get for the dogs and they love them these ones are cheese flavored mini bones they're made in the USA they give you a little thing back here so you can kind of see the size of them and I think that they'll love these. They don't expire until March of next year. I don't think it tells you how many you get though. I'm not sure. Because if I do an advent calendar for both of them, I need almost 50 treats, 48 treats for, you know, the countdown to Christmas. But I could pick more up on the way too. And then they had these ones, which are the peanut butter flavored mini bones. Also the Foppers brand and made in the USA. So they're just like, I mean, they're like the little teeny like milk bone size, which I have teeny tiny dogs. So that is perfect for my pups. And so I'm going to use these. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to like do an advent calendar style or um, what, because I looked at buying one and I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So, so we'll see where I go with that. Uh, but it's one of my plans. Um, let's see, where do I want to go? All right, in the coloring section, I picked up some coloring books. This one is Coloring the 60s. I know that some of these have been around for a while. This is the first time I ran into this one. And then this one is Inspirational Quotes. Stars can't shine without darkness. So it's adventure through a pastime favorite. Um, so I picked both of these up. I do them, um, a stack of coloring books for my grandma for Christmas because she colors. And so I thought she might like these. Being that, you know, she grew up in the 60s, so or she, I mean, she was around in the 60s. So she'll probably enjoy that. So I grabbed that one for her. And then this one is literally just like inspirational quotes and just all the sides and stuff that you can color. So um, picked those up. Let's see. In the makeup section, I found some of the cool new things that are like up in, in the makeup section. So first I found some of the um, eyeshadow palettes. I know you've been seeing these because everyone's hauling them because they're such an amazing find. Like you don't usually find eyeshadow palettes this big and amazing at Dollar Tree. So I picked up the Rosy Nudes as well as the Moody Neutrals because I thought they were both really pretty. They have the other one, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the bright colors. And I literally just brought like a bright color palette um, when I was going to the Taylor Swift concert because I did a lover look and I needed some of those fun bright colors. So I didn't pick up another one because I don't need it. But um, yeah, these are great. They don't come with any makeup brushes. Sometimes they come with, you know, like the little spongy one. These ones don't, so you have to have your own, but I don't use the spongy one anyway. Um, I did see who swatched it. Somebody swatched, I think Crafty Girl maybe. And she said she liked it. Um, Pookie's View, Lisa from Pookie's View did a review and she said that there wasn't a lot of fallout and that it like, she liked the way that it went on her, her eyes. So she gave a good review on it. And it's always good when you hear a good review when you pick stuff up. Um, I also found the Cherry Sugar Lip Scrub. Um, I'm going to do this in a gift. I am doing a spa basket gift for my best friend's daughter. She came to uh, Lorelai's birthday party that was spa and she just had such a good time with it that I wanted to do a whole gift basket as one of her gifts. Her birthday passed. I did something else for her birthday. So I'm going to do it for Christmas. Um, and so I'm going to put in this cherry sugar lip scrub. I think it's going to be amazing for her. They also had a lip gloss and a, like a, they called it a lip balm, but I have seen people swatch it and it goes on like red. And so she doesn't like 
do all those bright colors so I didn't get that for her I just got the scrub I picked up for me this cuticle oil balm I think it could, again I think it was Lisa from Pookie's view did a review she said this was messy I was honestly hoping it was less messy than when you just have like the oil I was hoping that you just rub this on and it's a lot easier I am in the time of year where my lips are dry and cracked I've picked at them they're just painful and my cuticles get all like jacked up like here I'll show you my gross one like it's just this time of year just wreaks havoc on my skin and so I was hoping that maybe this would help and I was really honestly hoping it would be less messy but that's not the review I heard we'll see I'm still going to try it out because I need it also in that area I picked up this um, I know that they have like the new like Max Hold gel that I've seen around. Um, Braxton is working on doing his hair and finding the right product. This one they had the um, Super Hold. This was regular hold. He doesn't like his hair to be like crispy. And so I thought maybe regular hold would be better for him. Maybe not. So this is protein styling gel. Protein rich, vegan, non flaking, radiant sheen, hard hold, protective styles. Ampro po, Pro Style Protein Styling Gel. I did not realize that it's so dark. It smells good. Um, He has kind of blonde hair, so I don't know if that's going to work. I liked it because it's made in the USA and it says that it benefits St. Jude's Research Hospital. And so, like, I liked that, but. And it's alcohol-free styling gel. We will see. I'll see if he wants to try it. And if not, I understand. So I didn't realize that it was so dark. I might end up getting the other one that's like the Gorilla, not Gorilla Glue, but the, the monkey snot, whatever the one is. But it's like not that, but it's like that. All right. I did find these. They are the towel scrunchies. Um, I wish they had a different pattern because Lorelai is not really into animal prints, but she takes showers at night and she does like tend to put her hair up <clears throat> afterwards. And I thought that this would be great to help dry her hair. And again, Lisa from Pookie's View recently did a review on this and she said that it worked out great. So I was thinking that because of that, like it would be good for Lorelai because that's what she likes to do. So um, it'll... I'm at the point now, you know, like you see the memes and they're hilarious where like your kid says like, hey, I need a toothbrush and toothpaste. And you're like, that's cool, though, but you're gonna get it for Christmas <laughs> because we're at the time of year where everything is for Christmas now because Christmas is around the corner. And if I'm already buying them something, why not turn it into a Christmas gift? So she'll probably get that for Christmas because it, it just makes sense. All right. I also I think this might be the last thing. Oh, nope. I'm trying to see what everything is like the beauty section. I found this. This is new. I know that you've been seeing this too because I've seen it in hauls, but it is the Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. I have pores and I should be using a primer to help kind of offset that. I use a concealer and I put the concealer in to kind of fill in my pores and then I do like my stuff. So I'm going to try this instead because this is supposed to be like for that, right? Um, so it says for best results, use fingertips to blend a dime size amount into the skin. Wait at least 30 seconds before, before applying makeup. And it can be used underneath makeup or alone for the reduced appearance of pores. So I'm going to give this a try, um, soon because if I like it, I want to be able to find it again. So probably the next time I put on makeup, I'm going to try to put that on and see if it helps. Um, and then now I think this is the last one. Um, I picked up one of these drawers. These are like a normal thing um, that Dollar Tree, like they had it for a long time, then it went away, then they brought it back. I bought it for a different reason though. So my plan is to take the drawer out and turn it up ways. So in one of my cabinets, we have reusable straws that we use. We put them in our um, water cups and just we use reusable straws it's better than using like throwaway straws it's a thing and um they're in a basket and they're just taking up a lot of room in my cabinet space so my hopes are I could do this on the door like the cabinet door like use command hooks and attach it and put all the reusable straws in it so I'm going to test it out make sure like it'll still close and stuff that it's not going to be in the way but I think it'll open up the room that I need in my cabinet space and you know organize it that way so that was what my plan is for this 
it just in my brain it makes sense that like get it get it out of the out of the way all right now I think everything else is not like beauty and stuff so first let's do some toys um I picked these up and this one's covered in um like spray stuff so someone was playing with the toys in the toy aisle but um really I picked this up because we have little magical friends that come for the month of December and they don't mind it when I help them pick stuff up because they have a long travel like they go back to the North Pole every night they got to come back here they travel a lot so we have made an agreement that I'm a big time shopper and I can help them out with anything they need so I pick things up that I think they may or may not use and they use it or don't use it because there's been stuff that they have not used that I've picked up for them. It just depends on their moods. So I picked up these fake mustaches for our little magical friends in case they want to use them. We'll see. Same with these from the um, Christmas section. I know that they're more toy soldiers, but um, I've heard a rumor that my little friends, the little friends that come to visit us, want to do something nutcrackery, and they have a nutcracker enough vibe, even though that they're toy soldiers. So, because um, I think toy soldiers and nutcrackers, you can almost use some of them simultaneously. Just the toy soldiers don't have the the mouth that opens and closes. But this wouldn't have that anyway because it's a a tinsel decoration. So I got this in like the tinsel decorations. They have the elves that they have every year, and I don't remember what else. But I was I went in thinking about my like friends that need some things and I was thinking about nutcrackers and you can't find a lot in Dollar Tree for nutcrackers. Going back to toys, I finally at my store found these, the cute little pans. Um, I have been waiting and waiting. I have seen them hauled. I knew I wanted them. So I was really excited when they showed up at one of my stores. These are going to go to my nieces as part of their Christmas gifts because they are so cute. These are so cute. Pretend play is one of my absolute favorite things for kids. When I was a kid, it was my favorite. When Braxton was little, it was my favorite thing to have him do. And now for my nieces, I'm all for it. So this says it's an eight piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven. So I don't know if there's something in there that I can't see because I'm counting two eggs. Oh, maybe there's, oh, there's two pieces of bacon. So um, it's an eight piece. This one is, I mean, those look like they could potentially want to be pancakes. They also look like they could be like an English muffin or just like a hamburger bun, but their hamburger bun does look slightly different. So we have the breakfast pan and we have the hamburger pan. So you can make your own burger with all the pieces. This one says it's a nine piece because you have all the burger toppings in there and the fries and both of them have a flipper like love these so this one has a black handle this one has a red handle um, if you're still looking for them we have a black pan and a silver pan and and the stuff in them so these are going to be part of my niece's christmas gift so i got two of each because you know you got to be able to make both breakfast and lunch so i like i said i love pretend i love pretend play um and i oh i have one more makeup item two more darn it i tried to tried to show them before now my bag's falling over um i found the new mascara i will be honest i yet to have a mascara that i have found at dollar tree that i like um i think i'm a little bit too mascara picky but i don't even use an expensive mascara i use like the essence one and you get it for five dollars on amazon um but i figured why not again lisa from pookie's view did test this she said it was okay she like liked it overall so i'm gonna give it a shot it is by bi beauty intuition it's black. This one says big long lashes mascara and that it's smudge proof, that it is a rich color and an instant or a, yeah, instant length. So it says apply two coats to the upper and lower lash without letting the first coat dry to avoid clumping. So we're going to try that out. Why not? And then again, when I was talking about the sugar scrub that I'm doing a whole basket for my best friend's daughter, I'm going to, um, I found the other one of these two. That's a different scent. This is new to me seeing the watermelon one. Otherwise, this is what I would have got for the birthday party. But this one says this is a watermelon scented um, lip mask or lip mask. And then the eye under eye masks are aloe. And so I got her the other one. that I, I don't think they're scented. They're just they're just what they are. Um, so I'm going to put the two of them in her gift basket of like spa items because yeah, we wouldn't love that. All right. 
Um, I picked up some more of these because I do have them. These ones I don't think have the glitter on them like the past year. I'm pretty sure before they had glitter on them and these don't, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I did not come up with it on my own. I did see another YouTuber um, come up with, you cut these the size of like your cabinets and you can put them on each of your cabinets to look like it's frosting dripping because my kitchen for um, Christmas is decorated in gingerbread theme. I love it. I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to get it all up. Um, and it just looks like it's frosting dripping down. So I did pick up some more. I do have the ones that I've cut already, but being that they were there, I struggled finding them the first go around. And that way, if I like find that I need to replace any of them or to start over, I have new ones. They're a two piece. So you get two different pieces in here and they're 48 inches long um, for each of them. So two feet. No, four feet. Yeah, so I got two just to make sure that I have enough for when I do it. I got some window clings. I got several different ones. Um, and they are all, I think, have some sort of gingerbread attached to them. How cute is this? You make your own gingerbread houses. Oh my gosh, with the window clings. My kids aren't little enough anymore. Braxton, when he was little, he, he we used to have a whole set of window clings. It was a snowman that you like were able to like put the snowman together and every year it went on our sliding glass door but that stopped several years ago when he got too big <laughs> breaks my mama heart but um how cute you get the dump gumdrops the candy canes the doors the windows it's just so cute so i picked that up then there were these ones as well so this is what got me on this one it's like a little snowman mug with the little cinnamon sticks and a marshmallow sticking at the top that's that was it that's the one that got me on this particular one we have a santa mug too with the whipped cream and the gingerbread house but cookies for santa that is adorable um let it snow like there's not a cute one there's not not a cute one on here like they're all cute but it was those ones that really got me and then there's this one and there's this little gingy that's what got me on this one but the penguins are so cute. We just got the little mug down here with some cookies and peppermints. And the whole thing's really cute. So these say they're window decorations. But these ones are ones that you put, like, they're not going to be on the inside of your window and shine out. Like, they're you have to put them on the outside. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see them. I was kind of thinking my refrigerator because I can't put magnets on my refrigerator. So I was thinking about putting, like, these on there. And then my last for the window things this one says it's wall art and it's also gingerbread themed so that's everything you get in there you get a gingerbread man a gingerbread house a mug a like a to-go coffee cup snowman what does that one say eat cookies drink hot cocoa and be merry you got a cup of cheer we wish you a merry christmas and may all your holidays be sweet just so cute and that is 100% like my theme that I would like to do in the kitchen. Um, I picked up these socks because they're just too darn cute. They say Santa baby. And it looks like there's like, this up here looks like it's like the shape of the beard, but it's just what comes down from the, the top of the sock. So cute. Um, I grabbed these. I thought that, so in my front room, I do themed rooms for all of my rooms for um, Christmas if you're new here. If you were here last year, you kind of know. And so my front room, like when you first walk into my house, it's like my office area and my crafting area, my bookshelves. I do a black and white cozy cabin themed room in there. And so I picked these up because I think that they would be just nice additions to this and that and the tree or some of my little decoration pieces and stuff like that. So you get six of them. They're decoration bows. They have like the little spinny things on there to like be able to attach them to things we are almost done with this haul but i have to leave to go pick up braxton so it makes sense i got this it's just the little bell door hanger um i so my bathroom my downstairs bathroom so we have my kitchen and then like there's a bathroom and a, like a powder room and my laundry room is all attached right at the side of it and i decorate that in peppermint candy cane theme so i thought i would put this on the door for in there because it is a nice blend because i go from pep or gingerbread into peppermint and gingerbreads also have like some peppermint stuff. And so I thought that would be cute for that door. And my very last item in this haul, I went through this one. Oh no, I have one more after this. I went through this one really fast though, because I gotta go, is this. 
Um, I have seen some great crafts on some Instagrams of this where you take three of these off and you attach them and you can use it for um, like one of the big candles, like a Bed Bath & Beyond. No, Bath & Body Works candle, which I thought was really cute and unique. But um, I just picked up one so far because I'm not planning on doing that, but I thought it was really cute. So it says Joy, but it's just like a little gingerbread house. Um, it's thin plastic. Like when they were doing their crafts, they ripped them right off of this, which is like a candle holder. They were able to just like take it right off. Um, but super cute nonetheless as a little new gingy item. And then last item I got from the plus section and it's a tablecloth. Um, it's got like this mug on here I thought was really cute. This snowflake cookie kind of looks like it's like a gingerbread cookie. Um, we do have some like ornaments and stuff. And I picked it up because I mean my, I'm really drawn to like this. But it doesn't necessarily really match my kitchen. Because my kitchen is gingerbreads but it's more in the red scheme of gingerbreads and so i probably won't use it but if i do any kind of like like need to pull out a table or something like this would be perfect for like that and it is the 60 by 84. um they do have multiple different sizes though when you look there and it was only three dollars so i mean it was still a really good deal and if it just ends up in my christmas stuff for like if and when i host something for the holidays which let's be honest i'll probably end up being like hey we should have like a little christmas party at my house for like my youth group or something because that's what i do um i can have that i can pull out a table and put that on there all right guys thank you so much for being here i'm sorry this one did feel really rushed i apologize for that i just have to go pick up my child from school and um this day has been really busy so i wanted to make sure to sit down and be able to get this haul done for you guys i do hope that you're having the most amazing weekend i hope that everything's just going really well for you. I hope the weather's nice. Ours is okay. It's not bad. I'm busy having a very busy weekend. Um, we're about to go to a birthday party. Um, you saw like all the stuff I bought for the experiment book and all that for my nephew. So I'm excited to give that to him. I really hope he loves it. And then tomorrow we are doing like a Thanksgiving with some of my family because my cousin moved out of state, but she's here visiting and we're going to do like a little Thanksgiving like to visit with her and see everybody. So it's just a busy weekend. Um, but I hope yours is going really well. I cannot wait until I see you guys next time. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you on Tuesday with another Dollar Tree haul. All right. Bye, guys.